Deuteronomy chapter 26 verses 4 through 10. Moses retells the great events of salvation history. Moses spoke to the people, saying, The priest shall receive the basket from you and shall set it in front of the altar of the Lord, your God. Then you shall declare before the Lord, your God, My father was a wandering Aramean who went down to Egypt with a small household and lived there as an alien. But there he became a nation great, strong, and numerous. When the Egyptians maltreated and oppressed us, imposing hard labor upon us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and he heard our cry and saw our affliction, our toil, and our oppression. He brought us out of Egypt with his strong hand and outstretched arm, with terrifying power, with signs and wonders, and bringing us into this country, he gave us this land flowing with milk and honey. Therefore, I have now brought you the first fruits of the products of the soil which you, O Lord, have given me. Having set them before the Lord, your God, you shall bow down in his presence. The first fruits of the land, or labor should be considered the tithe, or one-tenth of the earnings. The emphasis in this reading falls on the form of the religious service which must accompany the offering. Even today a gardener takes a special pleasure, special pr pride, in the first crop of the season, but perhaps in this scientific age, we have forgotten that it is God who brought forth the crop. This section of Deuteronomy insists on three things, the first, that the worship must be directed to the true God, second, that the worship must be conducted properly, and set them, the gifts, before the Lord is a reference to Jerusalem's temple. Third, that the Israelites should be grateful, not just feeling a sense of awe at the first fruits produced, but recognizing exactly what God's blessings amounted to. Moses is reminding the Israelites how God had always provided for their needs. It is now the people's opportunity, through the tithing process, to return to God a portion of what he has given to them. Those who are unable to give money, should give their time and talents if they are able to do so without stress to the family. Tithes and offering giving back to God. A donation of a portion of one's annual income contributed voluntarily or due as a tax, especially a contribution of one-tenth of one's income for the support of the clergy or church.